Hey guys, I'm gonna do another uh, Liquitex basic pouring medium with acrylic inks painting. As soon as I find what I did with my canvases. And I'm gonna do it on a 12 by 12 because I find that these sell really good at the art shows. Um, so, I don't know what colors I'm using uh, in this one, but I usually start out the same. I will list them probably when I get done, but I always start out with carbon black. I can't give you the measurements of how I mix these because it's usually three quarters pouring medium and about eight squirts, because <laughs> that's what I do, of uh, the, uh, the inks. And I like the inks because they're super intense and I am working through some crap right now. And when I work through crap, I need something that evokes and stands for the intensity of what I'm feeling. And the inks do just that because they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, they're vivid, uh, they're intense, and that's kind of how I am as a person. So it helps me emote and express better and uh, feel calmer because that's what art to me is all about. That's how it started. It was my coping skill. And then I ended up with so many canvases that I, in the off chance, submitted them to a juried show and said, hey, are these any good? Can I sell these? And they're like, yeah, we love them. So you never know. You turn your, your crap that you're working through into art. So I am just kind of spreading it out because I do love black. Some of you may not, but this starts the intensity for me. My last one, I didn't use a whole lot of it. This I'm using a little bit more. So, and I'm gonna be careful. I uh, got pouring medium all over my face, on my eye, and it was in my hair. I went upstairs, I'm like, oh my God! So I freaked out a little bit. <laughs> and I thought I don't wanna have to pull my hair out trying to get the pouring medium out. Bam! So uh, I'm starting with a purple, and I tend to go in the black a little bit. I'm gonna keep this one a little bit tighter together, okay? All right. I like purple, and this is the cerulean blue, because together they're gorgeous. And I'll add a little bit of white to it as well to break it up. had a lot of caffeine today, so I'm, I find I'm a little shaky. I uh, was low on sleep because I've been going and doing and running for the past few weeks, and, and that's not me. I need my downtime, and I hadn't gotten my downtime, so uh, I'm pretty wasted tired. Pretty tired. So today wasn't about cooking or going or doing. It was about art and releasing. So this is a, like a metallic purple, or no, <laughs> metallic green, because you can see the shimmer in all of that. Um, I'm gonna use a little yellow in here. So we know that there's no mistakes in art, right? We do what we do. If it doesn't turn off, this is just like the negative space where you can scrape it off and you can begin again. But this type of art takes a little bit more uh, babysitting, for lack of a better word, because it does travel a bit more than the white negative space. And I'm keeping an eye on another painting in that idea. So if you see me walk away, I'm just, I'm just taking a peek at it and making sure it's okay. So I'm looking at the purple and I see I wanna add a little, little bit more white here. I don't wanna get too much because, well, that can be too much. <laughs> so, ugh. So it's really just a feeling. This is tipping off of this side already. So you gotta be careful to get it pretty level. Which I do not, is what I'm trying to say. So I encourage you to play with this. It took me a long time to get this the way that I like it, and sometimes I still have scrape offs, just like with the white ones. You know, it happens. You 
know I got a lot of yellow going on, but I really like what it does to a painting. So I'm just tipping it because I felt it was going that way too much. I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do. I just want to break up this green a little. That can just be overwhelming at times. Seriously. So just use a little artsy tool. Just try to get the areas of blank canvas to marry carefully or not carefully. I think it depends on my mood. Uh, today I'll be a little bit more careful. I think I got quite a bit of paint on this canvas, so it's not too bad. I'm still keeping an eye on the one I got going on over here. I'm not so sure if I like that one. Uh, I think I got too much white in the other one. But you know, live and learn. I haven't done these for quite a while. Like I said, I usually use these and do these when there's a bunch of crap going on. But I do have an art show coming up uh, in October. And I did not have any of these done. So I wanted to, um, wanted to start, sorry concentrating and because these I normally don't uh, don't film now pouring medium, pouring medium is really sticky so if you go to use it just be aware it's gonna stick to your gloves if you get it on your person it's gonna stick to your person um, I used to not use gloves with these <laughs> that is not smart to do so sometimes I'll scoop a little and bring it over you're just gonna have to play with whatever it is you choose to do see how it comes out to how you like it yeah the Kleenexes are sticking to me oh my god my gloves okay so some of this white I just want to kind of ameliorate a little bit because to me it's a negative I want to make it a little bit more cohesive I guess all right so I'm gonna stop there I'm looking here about what I want to do. I just go with how it feels. I don't know. I, I can't give you a better explanation than that. How it feels, what it looks like, and I'm really digging all of this because it's like a massive rainbow. Um, I will still manipulate. Okay, so that is really, I really like this one. I like how it's flowing and where it's going. And to me, this is done. Okay, I'm just gonna play with the sides a little bit because of where it was or was not tipping off, but I, this I love. This would be called a success. I don't feel like I need to use the tool, but I am gonna pop a bubble um, and try to show you guys before it switches because this stuff is, uh, it travels quick, so I gotta take one set of gloves off, which I already always struggle and have trouble with. Get the camera. Ugh. Come over. Okay, so you can kind of see what it looks like. I'll give you some close ups. So, just this myriad of colors. That's what my emotions feel like right now. I think this is why this one appeals to me. It's like a fucking mess. Excuse my language, but it deserves that. That's what I feel like. This is why I paint. This is why I use these. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great day. Bye.